let m0 be the initial mass of the rocket m0 initial mass mass that is the mass of the rocket plus the mass of the fuel and v0 beats initial velocity in this case time is equal to zero we are considering the initial condition after a time t time t time equal to t let its mass be m and the velocity be v here there is some ejection of fuel vg let vg represents the velocity of the fuel ejected and consider a third case c here the mass will be let some mass dm dm is ejected as gas through the nozzle and let the velocity be vg itself this is after time t plus dt a time greater than this time a or a dt time after this second case time t plus delta t and the mass will be m minus dm since this dm is ejected through the nozzle and let the velocity be the velocity be v plus dv which means if if some mass of the rocket is lost it gains some velocity let dv be the velocity gain in all these three cases due to law of conservation by law of conservation of momentum by law of conservation of momentum the momentum at every case remains the same and I'm just considering the condition this con conditions B and C the states B and C the momentum at the state B will be m into V mass of the body into its velocity which is equal to momentum at the momentum at the state B is equal to momentum at this state C because there are no external forces acting here so the momentum here at C will be mass here is m minus dm times m minus dm times velocity here is v plus dv v plus dv also there is a there, there, there is some mass some mass of gas dm is ejected through the nose so since the velocity is in the downward direction you have to consider vg as minus so plus momentum is always mass into velocity the mass ejected is dm times velocity is minus vg clear so mv is equal to m minus dm into v plus dv minus dm times vg on simplifying this you will get mv is equal to this will be mv minus vdm plus mdv minus dm into dv minus dm into vg You can cancel this mv and this mv on the left side it will be zero since dm and dv are very small you can approximate this to zero so it will be minus vdm plus mdv minus dm vg clear you can take this mdv to the left therefore minus mdv is equal to minus vdm minus vg dm or dm vg either way you can write that dm vg you can you can multiply with a negative one or you can cancel this minus signs because all terms contains this negative sign 
So this will be the fourth. We have m d v equal to v d m plus uh, d m into v g. Call this as equation number one. Now, now we have v g means the velocity of v g is the velocity of gas velocity of the gas or the fuel ejected through the nozzle through the nozzle velocity of the fuel ejected through ejected through the nozzle with respect to ground see this is this is the velocity this is the velocity we consider with respect to ground now let us consider a term a velocity term u such that this u represents the velocity of the gas with respect to rocket let that be our u so this will be velocity of gas minus velocity of rocket therefore u we, we, we randomly took this u and we considered it to be the velocity of gas with respect to the rocket now you have vg in the downward direction so you have minus vg and v are the velocity of the rocket which is v minus v clear just consider this case v so u will be we have u equal to v velocity of gas with respect to rocket and we have vg downward and v upward so but vg are anyway vab is va minus vb similarly vg are equal to vg minus vr since vg is in the downward direction you have to write minus vg and the velocity the rocket is progressing upward its velocity is v clear so this will be or u equal to u is equal to you can take the minus as common vg plus v clear now let's call this as equation number two you can you can take the dm in the equation number one let's clear this space now look at the equation number one that is m dv is equal to you can take this dm outside since it is common dm times v plus vg clear or v, vg plus v instead of v plus vg or vg plus v you can write minus u therefore m dv is equal to dm into here you can write minus minus u since vg plus v equal to take this minus to the left is minus u clear now further simplifying you get m d v is equal to minus u d f or d v is equal to minus u d m by m taking this m to the right call this as, this as equation number three now to get v from d v or in order to find the final value you must integrate this equation three with respect to the limits that is integral dv is equal to integral minus u dm by m here the velocity the initial velocity is v0 and the final velocity is v and here the variable is m the initial mass is m0 and the final mass let's call that as m now integral of dv is v here you have to write the lower limit and here it will be upper limit since this u is constant 
the velocity of the gas with respect to ro rocket always remains constant you can take that outside minus u integral m0 to m you can write this as 1 by m p m clear so this will be here you can write the upper limit v minus v0 replace this v with the upper limit then put the minus sign and then then write v0 instead of v equal to minus u here 1 by x dx is log x so here it will be log m log m then the upper lower limit m0 then the upper limit m this can be simplified as v minus v0 equal to minus u log first write the upper limit m minus the lower limit log m0 clear now you can write this as v minus v0 v minus v0 is equal to minus u log log a minus log b that is log a by b that is m by m0 and v minus v0 and you can use this minus inside of log so that this this numerator and denominator changes log this will be m0 by m clear so therefore v equal to v0 plus u log m0 by m so this is the final velocity gained by the rocket v is equal to v0 plus u log m0 by m if v0 is if the initial velocity is 0 then if the initial velocity is 0 then we have v equal to this is 0 u log m0 by m 